Thank you to Glowforge for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki Foster and on this channel, I share DIY ideas. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this piece of wall art. So in my last video, if you guys didn't catch that, make sure you go and watch that video as well. This was the unboxing and setup video for the Glowforge Aura. This is a brand new item from Glowforge and you can find it currently at Joann's and Michael's. So in my last video, I showed you guys a bunch of different DIY projects you can make with your Glowforge Aura. It was super easy to set up. It only took 30 minutes like to unbox everything and get it all set up and ready to print. So uh, if you guys didn't catch that and then this is your first time using it or you just want a little bit more information, make sure you check that video out. I will have it linked in the description box below for you as well. So one of the things I love to do is make wall art or make any kind of art really um, for, you know, on my channel. And one of the things I've been doing is trying to slowly decorate the rest of my house. So I kind of started my living room project and I'm in between like two different projects right now. So um, I'm still going to be working on that. And that's why I want to show you what I'm doing with that room as well. And um, yeah, so without further ado, let's just get into this video. I headed to Michael's and searched their clearance section. I saw this corkboard frame that was 70% off and would be perfect for the project that I wanted to do. The first thing I do is measure the inside of the frame. This way I know how much space I have to work with and this will determine how big I make my letters. Okay, so for this artwork, we're gonna be doing a favorite quote. This is a quote from one of my favorite books, The Alchemist, so I decided to just make some wall art around it. And then it's going like right in the corner by like where my like makeshift library is. So I think it just kind of transcends into the space, so it makes a lot of sense. So anyway, um, we are gonna be designing this right in the Glowforge app or the Glowforge dashboard. I like to call it the Glowforge app because it's literally app.glowforge.com. So let's head over there and then I'm just gonna write all the words out, tell you the font that I'm using and show you all the little extra stuff. Okay, so right here in the top left corner, I'm just gonna to go to create a new design and I'm gonna do create a blank design. All right, and then it opens up to the um, kind of like the aura vision where it looks like you're a machine. Um, and then I am going to be putting in some text. So I'm going to be writing in the text box a couple of words at a time so I can fit it all onto the 12 by 12 acrylic sheet. I'm starting with the first part of the quote with the two words, it's the. I'm going to be using a font called Pacifico. If you drop down to where it says typeface, then on the left side to where it says retro, it's stored right in there. For the size, I'm using 103 points. And then all the way to the left side where it says enter settings, I select cut. I repeat this process until the full quote is filled up on the 12 by 12 layout. I did move some words around so it fits best on the full sheet. And then I'm also just making sure that um, the space between like the words is minimal just so I can like kind of save as much material as possible. So as close as it can get without overlapping, that's what I'm basically doing. The reason why I'm doing the quote in pieces just so it can fit on this 12 by 12 piece of like material so you can use whatever material you want. I'm going to be using acrylic so I'm excited about that. Okay so this is my quote. I already have all of it in. I even was able to turn one to the side. I'm just going to make sure this all fits with the material so let me just put a piece of material in and you'll see right here at the top left corner it says unknown material. That's because I don't have anything in it right now. Um, so when I put in so this is the, the thin acrylic. It has a film over top of it. So I'm just gonna put this in the machine. And you can see once I added in the material, the Aura picked up the proof grade material that I was using right away. So you can see once it, once I added in the material, it popped up right away, thin black acrylic. And um, that's because it has the smart code on the bottom right hand corner of the proof grade materials. So that looks good. I'm just gonna go set it to the printer. A quick note, I do have my personal air filter right under the table. This is perfect so I don't have to use an air vent through the window and it's amazing for small spaces. The laser cuts out the acrylic in clean, precise lines. Also, I forgot to mention that once the proof grade materials are detected, the cut settings populate automatically and the laser times vary depending on the materials. All right, so everything looks like it's all cut out. Let's lift this up. 
Once everything was cut out, I removed it from the aura. Some pieces fell out on their own and others popped out pretty easily. I also had little dots for the eyes, which having them intact actually helped me not to lose them. I got a comment on my last video asking if I was using a pen to weed. I am not. This is a micro weeding tool. It looks like a pen, but it's not. And all I'm doing is peeling the masking from the front and back of the acrylic. As I peel the masking from the acrylic, I place it inside the frame to how I wanted everything to be laid out. This just helped me to move on to the next step easier, which was basically hot gluing the acrylic down to the cork. For the hot glue, I'm putting a little bit of hot glue all around the back of the letters. I'm trying to be careful not to use too much because if I use too much, the glue will get all over the place and then it won't have that professional looking finish that I'm going for. So I'm just using a thin ribbon of hot glue. Also, I'm doing one letter or one word at a time so I can place it down before the hot glue cools. The dots for the eyes are pretty small, so I'm using these tweezers to place them down. First, I add a tiny dot of glue, and then I place the eyes down with the tweezers. To clean up any excess glue, I'm using this eraser. I'm lightly taking the eraser and going over any spots that may have little bits of hot glue that have dried on it. And now I'm ready to hang up my DIY artwork. Ta-da! This is how the project turned out. I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, I am excited that I finally was able to add a personalized piece of artwork near the bookcase area. I'm still working on my living room, still working on like the rest of the house and stuff, but I'm glad that I was able to add a personalized piece. Like I mentioned before, this is just one of, um, one of the quotes from one of my favorite books, and I just thought it really would make sense being here in this space. Um, I was able to use thin acrylic. So I used thin black acrylic that uh, the Glowforge Aura easily cut out. So I was so happy about that, that I was able to use some different materials. Um, in my last video, I did use a lot of the uh, plywood and like the wood cuts, which is still like amazing. Um, and again, I'll link that video in the, in the description box below. So in case you guys are looking for more of a um, informative video about how the Glowforge Aura works, like an unboxing and setup, you can check that one out. And um, yeah, so I do have more videos coming with this, uh, showing you how to use this machine. And um, if there's any other projects that you guys have in mind, you want to see something else, make sure you drop it in the comment box below. And um, yeah, so thanks again to Glowforge for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Um, that's kind of wordy. The space code. What am I talking about? Okay. La, la, la. Well, yeah. Ugh, I hate when I mess up. Whew. All right. Let me start over. Let me just start the whole thing.